Checking in here with the Lady Flames softball program. They have the weekend off as they get ready after that to go to South Carolina for a few ball games. But kind enough to join us here is Lady Flames pitcher Chandler Ball. And Chandler, it's uh, been an exciting year for you so far. Three victories, 37 strikeouts, and a Big South Pitcher of the Week honor as well. You're coming off the knee injury from a year ago. How excited are you to be back out there on the field? Uh, every game is just so exciting for me because um, after sitting a year out, uh, every game is special, every pitch is special. And um, Kenzie and I, you know, we suffered the same injury, and both of us worked really hard to get back to this point. So we're nothing but excited. How grueling, how extensive was the rehab and getting back to this point? Uh, rehab is tough just because, especially being hurt in season, uh, versus out of season, all you want to do is play. And uh, what makes it hard is just knowing that it's going to take a long time, but um, just keeping priorities in order and knowing that with this next season coming for us that um, we wanted to be ready. So we just busted our butt in the weight room and um, in rehab every day. With a knee injury like you suffered, a lot of times the hardest thing is coming back and trusting that your knee's not going to give out again. What point did that click for you? Uh, really, for me, it was tough because I did hurt it while pitching, and I'm in a big game where I felt really good. So uh, this fall, it was just tough just trusting myself because I throw very aggressively and felt like limited because uh, I couldn't quite do what I wanted to, you know, the day I got released. So um, really, uh, South Alabama was about the first time that I felt, you know, like, okay, like you're fine. This is a top 25 team, but, you know, it's going to hold up and you've worked hard for it. So. Pitched very well in the Dot Richardson Invitational, two and one record down there. Good lower and run average as well. Uh, was that the best that you felt in your time here? Uh, best that I felt, I felt um, fairly good. I mean, movement wise, I think there's some things that I could have done better, but um, really just all the credit to the defense behind me because, uh, you know, that shutout is really more so for them. Um, I don't want to take any credit for that. I mean, we all work hard um, and just. The defense that we have behind us, you know, Tori in center and Mickey, just the leadership that she has out there at short, uh, that is what got us the shutouts. You guys have faced some very tough teams so far this year, and you got a win over Arkansas. That was a big one. Uh, confidence booster, I'm sure. Then you face a top-ranked Florida team coming off a national championship. What does it do when you guys play these big SEC and Power 5 caliber teams? I think it really just shows us uh, where we stack up. I mean, having a uh, freshman, Abby, go out there and uh, – you know, lead us in the win against Arkansas. I mean, that's just huge for morale and confidence, saying, like, it doesn't matter who we put out there, we're going to win. And um, those games are really just to test and see where we are. And, you know, even though, you know, we had the loss against Florida and the loss against Kansas, uh, that just still, I think, pushes us to work harder, to be better in those games, and especially when it comes to conference. You grew up in Georgia. I know the cold weather is something that's probably a little bit foreign to you, as it is me. I grew up in Georgia myself. But, uh, you know, coming from that and, and coming into this, uh, what's the adjustment been like, and are you used to it yet? I don't think I ever get used to it. I mean, uh, when I came to Liberty, I had uh, one jacket, and that did not cut it. So I think every year, even though winter is just rough for me, I think it's just a, it's a mindset, especially at practice, and just to, um, you know, think warm thoughts, I guess, is what we always talk about. From the Warner Robins area down there, what do you miss about home? Um, really, Warner Robins, I mean, I'm a military brat, so I mean, I've moved all around. But, uh, you know, uh, for me, home is just a state of mind. I mean, being here feels like home. And, uh, I mean, I miss it. And, uh, you know, every time we move, it was hard. But uh, really, being here is more home to me than anything. As you get ready for the games in South Carolina here, what are you trying to work on over the next week or so? I really just want to focus on making quality pitches, you know. Um, strikeouts are great. That's not, you know, my goal every time. I just want to make the ball as easy to play for my defense. So really focusing on having quality movement is what I'm most focused on. Chandler, appreciate the time. Wish you the best of luck coming up. Thanks. That's Lady Flames pitcher Chandler Ball with us. My name is Nick Pierce for the Liberty Flames Sports Network.